what is, where does this leave opposition unity? Well, is there opposition unity? Shinivas, first there has to be a strong opposition and then they have to unite. So it's, it, it's, it, there are two, two sides to this coin. Hmm. So the question is, you can't let the, look at the state of the Congress in Odisha. Look at the state of the Congress in uh, Bihar. Look at the state of the Congress in most of the northeastern states. Hmm. So where the Congress is strong and can fight in places like Maharashtra, Rajasthan, uh, you know, Madhya Pradesh is fine. They should go ahead. Hmm. They should go ahead. There's no problem in it. There's no problem in that, that, so unity to that extent. So but, you're but saying, no, no, so you're saying there can't be unity. There can't be unity if, if one part, if, you know, parties are weak. I mean, that's an interesting way of looking at unity, that because yeah. there will always be some See, parties unity, that are strong and others weak. That's why you unity, come together. Shinevas, don't, don't, unity is not synonymous to sympathy. So where you're fighting hard, great, we wish you well, I hope you succeed, no issues with it. But in states where you are gradually dying or dead, like mm. I just gave you examples of Orissa, mm. I give you an example of Bihar, I gave you... A, a, I can just go on and okay, on. Okay. There is you cannot you cannot grudge Mamta Banerjee to make a viable opposition there, and that's all, right. all it is about. So opposition unity doesn't mean you leave open spaces for the BJP to take over. Okay, you cannot. 